I heard that you settled down, that you found a guy and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true. I guess he gave you things I couldn't give to you. Oh, friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you hold back all right from the light. I hate to turn up all the blue on and bite it, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't find it. I'd hope to see my face, and then you'd be reminded that for me, it isn't over. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget me. It hurts instead. Ooh, I love that song, man. <laughs> oh, welcome back to my channel, everybody. That's a beautiful song by Adele. It's about the best I can do at it. People have asked me, why do I perform the first verse or uh, first little bit of songs on my channel before I, I review a song? So I always like to risk something. If I'm going to react to something, if I'm going to put my point of view out there, I mean, not only do I want to hear people, have people hear me sing and play, but I also just, you know, I feel just much more able to comment on somebody else's work if you have an idea of what my work is like. So you can judge me f as much as we can judge them. We're all being judged. That's my point a little bit, is that, you know, there's no hierarchy here. I mean, there is a hierarchy here. So I like Adele. I don't know all of her music, but the music I like, I, I really like. I think she's a spectacular gospel style old school R&B style singer. She's very unique. I think people often want to compare her to Aretha Franklin and, and kind of old, older school artists. I think that's fair. She's really a very singular artist to me. Um, she has such an innovative, innovative way of singing, but let's not dilly dally. Let's actually listen to her new song. She has a new music video out. We're gonna, we're gonna listen to it here and now. All right, very kind of grainy look. Beautiful shot so far. I think this is film. It's hard to tell if they added grain or not, but it doesn't look like necessarily color film that was transitioned over to black and white. I know I'm not a film expert, but this is what I'm noticing. Oh, swanky bag. Swanky fit. Nice. That looks like an assassin a little bit. Pretty shot. Hi, darling. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, all good. All done. Everything's packed. I'm just going to get on the road now. About to leave. I forgot how... Well, hopefully just a couple of hours. But I was just if I'm late, hours. go ahead and start about me. All good. I mean, I will probably have bad signal. I said I probably won't have good signal. I keep forgetting that she's English and that she has, like, this uh, uh, very lovely British accent. I can't... Again, Americans, we can't really do the uh, British accent. I'm not sure why. It's not in our repertoire. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me? I forgot to tell you. Right, here we go again. Pretty refracted light there in the lens. Very nice. I like the sh I like the way they're shooting it. Old school cassette. Very nice. Very uh, pretty eyes. Also very nice. piano I like it there ain't no gold in this river that I've been washing my hands in forever I know there is hope in these waters but I can't bring
All right, so I really like this song right away. Very, very, gosh, so emotional, so accessible. She's on a phone call at the very beginning. She's in some weird abandoned house in like her fashion stuff. Seems very isolated. She's kind of annoyed on the phone. There ain't no gold in this river that I've been washing my hands in forever. I mean, really, uh, definitely within Adele's sound. Adele always has, to me, she always has blues and gospel kind of at the base of her sound. She knows how to create songs kind of in the modern poppy style and she's able to kind of create in that dynamic but and still but keep it really natural and very bluesy very honest very open i really feel like i'm listening to kind of old school music when i'm listening to a lot of her music so the first thing i'm thinking of is i'm thinking of like a panhandler you know panhandlers who would come to uh you know the 49ers and stuff and they'd come to states and they just they just wade through rivers forever just sifting for gold and you'd have to do it for years, and there'd be these guys out there for years and years and years swearing there's gold in this river, swearing there's gold in the hill, and, uh, you know, spending their lives and not looking for it. And that's the image I get here, that she's been panning a river for gold, and she's been doing it forever, and she can't, it's over. She, she's realized, she's come to a place in her life where she realized there is no gold here. That line really hits you. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a child. Didn't get a chance to feel the world around me. I had no time to choose what I chose to do, so go easy on me. Fascinating. I mean, it's it, it, the first part of the song is almost entirely metaphorical. We're in a river. My hands are in the river. We're looking for gold. And then... We get this whole very direct thing. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a chance. I was still a child. I didn't get a chance to feel the world around me. None of this is metaphor. She's saying, I was still a child. Go easy on me. I'm having trouble coping now. You know, sometimes we're asked to manage our families, even when we're very young. Or same, sometimes we take on that role ourselves. Sometimes we, we have to manage the emotions of the people around us when we're very, very young and we can become emotionally codependent with other people or just emotionally kind of um, overly observant and hyper kind of involved in how other people are feeling. It, it helps if you want to uh, be, a, if you want to be a good employer, if you want to be a good assistant to somebody to be able to anticipate needs. But it also can just overwhelm you so you never anticipate your own and you never look at your own feelings and how are you feeling about something because you're so obsessed with maintaining the feelings of others because you think it's your job. That's the thing I'm, I'm reading from this. All right, let's keep listening. Great song. I really like this song so far. There ain't no Okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get into the testifying part, I like how they bring in the um, bass drum there, but it's uh, 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 they don't do they don't do a, they don't do a big drop. They don't create a whole bunch of new sound to move on into the song. Just adding a little bass drum. Still, we maintain that gospel vibe. Like that. So C, down to A minor, to G. I was just a child. 
There ain't no room for things to change when we are both so deeply stuck in our ways. You can't deny how hard I have tried. I changed who I was to put you both first, but now I give up. Holy sh**. <laughs> I love lyrics like this, where again, it's very, very direct. Both. I don't know what that means. Maybe I have no idea what that means. <laughs> to put you both first. But now I give up. Love songs historically have been like, I love you so much, let's end up together. I miss you so much. You know, th there's variations on I love you and I miss you. There's so rarely songs just about the argumentation of a couple maybe that's that's dying a relationship that's maybe that's dying so that's what i'm thinking now that 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 her that this is more about the relationship she's in now she's not alone and she's not with somebody she's in a, in a relationship that's kind of falling apart or faltering and she's saying we're both stuck in our ways you can't deny how, deny how hard I've tried. I've changed who I was to put you both first. Is both maybe her and him? Is both maybe one of their children or something? I don't know. But such a unique perspective. Like an adult woman who's in a relationship, who maybe has a child that she's singing about here, and she's stressed out over it. You know, it's a stressful thing to have kids, so I hear. <laughs> You know, she's like, she's arguing with him, but she's saying, you know, I never learned how to argue. I never learned how to just relax in a relationship. We've all been in arguments like that, where you might realize you're an equal part in the wrong. Doesn't mean you're not angry anymore. Doesn't mean that person isn't still uh, en enraging you. And it doesn't mean that you weren't also the victim of something they did to you. I always get a great deal of tumult and 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 and, and emotion and kind of need from her music. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying she's needy. I'm just saying it's such a huge part of who she is. She's such a an open wound of a person or not a she's such an open emotional person. She probably needs a great deal of emotional reassurance in her life and she's talking about why that is. And I really like this song. This really pretty song. Let's jump back in here. And we're in color. Love that switch to color. <laughs> Interesting. I always am so fascinated when English artists have such... She sounds very American, or just maybe she loses her accent a little bit in her delivery. Um, I love these little, uh, <laughs> like the hippie girls in the car. To me it looks like young women, maybe her and her past. Together, it looks like people just kind of talking and having fun, and maybe she's remembering her, the easiness of her youth and just being, you know, I'm immediately thinking of, uh, of like, uh, you know, all the, all those, uh, what was it, Tom Robbins books, you know, even cowgirls get the blues and, uh, skinny legs and all and those, all those books. Gosh, really pretty song. Really glad I did this. Uh, don't worry. We'll do more Taylor Swift next week. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Really appreciate it. Lots more reactions on my channel, all kinds of fun stuff on my channel. Um, Please like, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments where I'm right, where I'm wrong. Uh, let me know um, if you know any kind of cool facts about this song. Always love to learn those, and I will every now and then do some comment reading section um, videos where I kind of update myself on all the musicians I know nothing about. And until next time, keep playing.